Okay, so what I want to do is show you guys what it looks like when I'm looking at your accounts and I'm saying, okay, how can I monetize this person? I want you to see what I look for when I'm doing it. Because uh, to me, it's second nature. I know within eh, seconds to maybe a few minutes. Sometimes I need a little bit more information than what I can see. But generally speaking, I know very quickly if I can monetize your account or not. So I'm going to use several different examples. If you're in this, don't be offended if I say what you can improve. It's just constructive criticism, okay? Uh, so anyway, so this is Mind Fight Zen, and all the people that I'm doing here have all reached out to me. So, um, so the issue with this account is, first of all, it's anonymous. So you can certainly sell with anonymous accounts. You can even sell high ticket. I've seen it done before. Uh, one of the best examples is Art of Purpose. Um, he's anonymous or semi-anonymous or whatever. He doesn't really show his face, but he's still selling. Um, and he's selling like a 10K offer successfully. So it certainly can be done, but it's definitely not the, uh, it's not an advantage to be anonymous if you're selling a high ticket. So I tell people, at least be semi-anonymous, at least put your face out there. And even if you use a slightly different name or whatever, that's fine. But um, you know, put put your face out there, if, if if at all possible. So, okay. So here's what's with this account. This is basically a platitude account, um, and you can monetize a platitude account, but there are several things that you have to consider. All right. Um, first of all, maybe it's not a total platitude account. I mean, you know, he's got some threads here, which is good, but. My question is, when I'm looking at this guy, like, who is this guy? What kind of results has he gotten? What does he even look like? What's his name? You know, and usually those things are what I'm looking for from selling high ticket. Uh, I'm not gonna sell, I'm not gonna give five thousand dollars to, you know, this whatever this is, this Buddha looking thing. I want to give five thousand dollars to a person, right? So this person has to define uh, what exactly they're selling. You know what? What's it look like? Um, they need to put out their backstory, start showing client results, help people for free if you have to. You know, it's just not enough to just say, "Hey, you know, here's all this uh, meditation stuff." You know, you're, you're not likely to get too many people reaching out whatsoever. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not likely. So uh, the good news is, when you do this, however, he at least has the following. He at least has the attention. So if he's talking about like meditation, relaxation, stress relief, that kind of stuff, and then he uh, shows his face and then starts talking about his authority with that, then it's a hundred times easier to sell. Then you just need a really good offer. Um, but you know, just by itself, if you're just building a list and you're anonymous and you show none of the things I mentioned, you're not going to be able to do that very. Well. All right, so Mr. Friso Fitness. So this gentleman reached out and says that he wants to uh, basically just get more coaching sales. And uh, there's a few things that I see here where they could be improved. So what's good is he's got his face. Uh, with fitness, you pretty much have to show off your body and show that you're in very good shape or else people aren't really going to buy from you. So that's one thing he's doing very well. Um, so I'm looking at several things here. Number one is he says he's the Dutch fitness coach um, on Twitter, and then he says I'm I'm helping f uh, busy entrepreneurs. Right now, it's a very it's a very overdone niche. Uh, it does not mean you can't make money from it. I mean, people are doing it every day, but it's just so like overdone that if you're doing it, you really have to either niche down further or you have to uh, really stand out somehow. So. I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying that Mr. Friso is not having an easy time make up, making up his mind in what he does because, you know, here it says the fat loss coach and then here it says the entrepreneurs and then down here I see him targeting dads. Uh, yeah, right here. So helping busy dads. So the thing is, like, you really have to pick one niche, one sub-niche of your niche. You just have to do that, and that's really just the beginning of this. So on top of this, what he's also doing well is he is showing off client results, which is good. 
Now, I don't know if these guys are dads. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this guy is a dad, but who knows? I never can fully judge a book by its cover, I suppose. But um, the before and after is good. But the messaging here really needs to reflect around a system, right? This is what I do with my clients. This is the results that I get. Here's their before and afters, but also here's their story and the going from there. Um, it should never be like everything should kind of come together in harmony. So if you have a, a program, then that program is based off of a system and that's, that system is what you talk about, right? I talk about the list money multiplier program is based off of a system that we use. So it's the same with fitness. It's really the same with anything else. You always hear marketers talking about their, their systems. And uh, there's a reason for it. It's cliche as hell, but it's, it, it works. So anyway, um, you know, stuff like this, this kind of content's good, but I would say there's probably something going wrong with the lead generation and the messaging. Definitely the messaging's a little bit off because you're kind of targeting three different groups here. And you have to hone in on one and you have to really hit that one group's pain points, right? If you're, like one thing I see all the time is the fitness guys are targeting uh, entrepreneurs, but their content is so broad that they're not really targeting entrepreneurs. They're targeting everybody. Then they're saying that their offer is for entrepreneurs, but they're not really hitting their their targets pain points, right? I mean, what what problems do entrepreneurs specifically have with fitness? Why is your system specifically built for them, or dads, or whatever, women over thirty, or whatever? You know, there's a million million niches you can do. With fitness, uh, you certainly want to choose one that you know has more money, which is why everybody chooses dads and entrepreneurs. But there are more, there are more than that. You know, there's men over forty. There's, I don't know, there, there's a bunch of them if you just sit down and think about it. Uh, but anyway, so that's my thought there. Target your uh, target your avatar better. Decide what you want to do better. I don't know what your offer looks like yet, but um, definitely. You know, definitely you want a solid offer. There's no question there. It's always the way it works. Uh, I don't know how the sales are, but that's what I look at when I see this. All right, so Joe Independent You. And he says right here, I became a millionaire, lost it all, then became one again. That's very compelling. If you just tell that story, I mean, that's really cool. It's like saying I climbed to the top or close to the top or whatever, and then I fell off, crashed and burned, and then I clawed my way back up and learned you know, so many more lessons about life the second time around. You know, it's, it's a really compelling story if told correctly. So when I've looked at Joe's content, I see some platitudes and I see some sauce here and there, which is good. Um, threads are good because you can actually teach people things. You know, most tweets, people just write to be like poetic and cool. And, you know, it's just good to have stuff like this. You know, this, this thread right here where you're saying... Uh, Here's how you can basically become better at sales, right? So um, here's the thing. What I think Joe could do is he could either teach people sales and he just has to talk about his story and start giving away sales advice and just attract the right people that way, you know, start really tailoring his content in that direction. Or maybe he can even sell sales and then talk about how sales, uh, maybe like talk about a wealth building method on top of that. So maybe it's something like step one is learn sales, step two is use that money and build wealth some other way, right? Uh, it just has to line up with his story and his expertise. But, you know, this is actually one of the easier offers to sell once you have a good offer structure. And that really is the key. The offer structure has to be good. But if you can say, hey, look, if you have uh, XYZ attributes and you want to learn how to do sales, and you know, like make so much more money than you pay me, then just sign up for my program, right? Uh, so that's the way I would go. And you know, you just need some, just like a lot of people just need proof that you know what you're talking about. You need, uh, ideally you have some client results on there, at least tell your own story. That's, people are gonna vibe with that. And uh, you wanna put out some kind of offer regarding either sales training or wealth creation or something like that. And you want to, get paid that way. Okay, so recapping and talking about what we can sell. 
So mine fight Zen over here. If you don't show your face, you can sell $47 eBooks on meditation. Uh, if you do show your face, you could sell one-on-one -on -one at group coaching on stress relief, uh, finding your inner self, relaxation, something along the lines of like helping yourself reduce stress. I would probably do something like that. Uh, you, you might want to do something slightly different than that, but that is generally speaking the direction that I would go. Uh, Mr. Friso Fitness, you're already selling one-on-one -on -one coaching, so obviously that's what you can sell. You can also sell group coaching. So it's cool to have like a three to 4K one-on-one -on -one offer. And then you could have a group offer for, for maybe 1500 to 2K. And uh, that would just be where you have people in a Discord channel and they all have routines. Maybe they all get one one-on-one -on -one call, but for the most part, they're getting group calls and that's how you keep them accountable and answer their questions. So I would do something like that once you fix the messaging issue. And Joe, I think Joe, if you're teaching sales, I mean, and you're teaching wealth creation, you could sell 5K, 10K. Uh, you just need to have, just need to show your credibility and your results and you can do something like that. If not, then you can also have a, um, a similar group coaching offer where maybe you charge a little bit less. Uh, but even then, I mean, frankly, group coaching offers believe it or not, don't necessarily need to be less than a one-on-one -on -one offer. They often are, but you can certainly have one that's between two to 10K and teach people the same thing. So that's what I would do. Um, can you sell a course? Can you sell an ebook? Absolutely can. Uh, is it the first thing I tell people to do? No, I always tell people do coaching first, unless you have a massive account. If you have a massive account, it makes more sense to do something like a community or a course or even group coaching first. Um, I would still, in a lot of cases, I'd still do group coaching, but uh, you can certainly do a community or a course or whatever. So. so anyway, so that's what I think of all this and hopefully it helped everybody watching this video.